In today's video, I will unbox and review the longer LK5 Pro. But before we get into today's video, just want to share what the GGGG is for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month, August of 2021, we have this Hagglethorn Hollow printed and painted tower. We have a couple of PDFs of Dungeoneers. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out here, as well as Ancient City Evil Crawler set, as well as STL files for that. And then finally, $100 that is gonna to go towards any pledge level for Aridia the Kickstarter. Use my link below to go to my Patreon page to check out what the GGGG is all about if you wanna get in on that. As well, for September of 2021, this printer is also gonna be one of the GGGGs. So a while ago, representative from Longer reached out to me and asked if I would be do willing to do a review video of this printer and I said, sure, go ahead and send it my way as long as I can include it to be one of the gratitude gifts for my Patreons and they agreed to that so they sent this to me. Now I have never heard of Longer as a company, a 3D printing company and so this is the first time I'm seeing this. I know that the LK5 Pro is a large format printer. Right now I am running two Prusa MK3S's as well as a Prusa Mini. I've also used an Ender 5 but you can tell from the size of this build plate. Wow, this is hefty. Oh, also it is glass, which is great. Cause when I had my Ender 5, I uh, purchased the glass bed just because you know that it's gonna remain flat. So immediately I'm impressed with that, as well as this packaging is really protecting all of this. You got the scraper. We've got a jump drive and it looks like there are some limiters. So let's see how difficult it's gonna to be to put this together. These look like the support rods. Since it is an oversized printer, the additional support rods I think are gonna help keep it stable and prevent any wobbling of the Z axis from happening. So I know I mentioned that this is gonna be one of the GGGGs for September but uh, normally I do pay for shipping, but I'm gonna ask for help uh, for shipping costs for this printer because I think it might be a little bit pricey to be reshipping this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this out of the box. I don't think I'm gonna walk through the entire process with you and just fast forward. So this process here didn't take me very long. Um, I think it's really well packaged and the hardest part of assembly was actually removing this wrap from these rods, these support rods, but everything else was relatively quick and easy to build. And then I printed out this duct for the air uh, blowing out of the fan because the one that comes stock is pretty ineffective, but links in the descriptions below. Also, I'm gonna comment on this later on in the video to use PETG. Uh, because the um, PLA that I used did end up warping because of the heat. So just make sure that you use PETG or above. And the after assembly, the bed actually wobbled back and forth because it was only on one rail. But I was able to fix that by just tightening up those um, rails. And as you can see here, uh, all of the wobble was taken away just by doing that simple fix. And then this is just a manual bed leveling system where I just use a piece of paper and use the four dials to make sure that the height is set correctly in the five different points. So this is not auto bed leveling, which is a feature that I really like from my Prusas, but, and you can uh, opt to put in a BL touch if you want to, but I would imagine that this doesn't get out of sync in terms of bed leveling once you do it um, because the whole platform doesn't move up and down like it does in the Ender 5. So hopefully this will stay level relatively easily. Also, I wanna show you the size difference. This is the size of my Prusa MK3S and this is 210 by 210 by 250 height 
uh, build plate and this is the rear part of the dinosaur that I want to print off. As you can tell, uh, there's no way I can fit the whole piece on there. I would have to slice it again uh, in order to print the tail. But take a look at the build plate here for the longer and you can see that I can fit the whole thing on there. Again, this is 300 by 300 by 400 height. So it is uh, significantly bigger. As you can see, this tail part fits right on the build plate. So that's a pretty big size difference. So this is a pretty good and effective printer, large format printer. And uh, I was in the middle of printing out this large piece that on my Prusa I had to split into two and print out as two separate pieces, but definitely had plenty of space to be able to print here, as well as some other files that I am planning on printing on this larger scale uh, printer. So what happened here was the add-on fan shroud that I pulled off of Thingiverse, it was a little bit too long. And also at my fault, I put this at 5% infill rather than probably what would have been better was 10% because when it started laying down some of the flat pieces up here, it curled up because it didn't have anything to attach to. And because this was so close to the print, it actually hit the print and dragged the print sideways and created a shift right at the 36 hour mark. So uh, fortunately I was able to catch that soon enough to be able to stop the print and now I'm just printing the top separately. I've done this a couple of times before when um, there was a failed print. I'm just able to print the top and just glue it on top. And so far the quality of this looks as good as my Prusa MK3S as well as my Prusa Mini. So I'm really happy with the quality of these results. Once I tightened up the build plate so that it didn't wobble and established the baseline level, which took me about 15 minutes, uh, it's been printing fine and I've had no trouble with any uh, build plate lift or uh, any of the pieces not sticking to this glass bed. So really happy with this um, and really love the fact that you do have these stabilizers just because this is so tall and long uh, that's reassuring that that's there. Also I'm glad that they have built-in belt tensioners both for the X and Y axis. This is an add-on you have to do with the Ender 3 if you want to um, after a long time these belts do get loose and so you do need to increase the tension. But here it's built in so that both for the X and Y, you're able to do that. And I love that they added that on there. So overall, really happy with this printer. The only reason that I have it as giveaway to my Patreon supporters is because I already have three printers that are running and I don't necessarily have the space to keep this large machine. Also, one of the things I noticed is after I reprinted this, I did shrink it down and make it a little bit shorter. But one of the things that I'm noticing is actually the heat block is warping the shape of the nozzle part. And so what I've done is I've ordered some PET G and I'm going to reprint this out and replace that. So whoever is receiving this model, uh, don't worry about that. But if you do get to the LK5, Pro, then I highly suggest that you do print in PETG because at least the PLA that I used, uh, the heat from the block uh, was warping it. So I think uh, PETG should be able to handle that heat a little bit better. Also just increase your infill uh, maybe to 30% or something like that. That will also help too. Links in the descriptions below. The other additional thing is I did not use the slicer that Longer provided that came with this machine. Instead, I used Prusa Slicer and again, links in the descriptions below. I found another YouTuber who uploaded a profile, but you have to um, register on his website. So just uh, follow the link below and I also have that. Just all you wanna do is just export and pull in the INI file and it will put uh, all of your presets into Prusa Slicer so that you can get the print size that you want on there. If you're interested in getting this machine, go ahead, use the links below. That helps me out as well as the channel. Go ahead and check out my Patreon page to see what the GGGG is for this month. And if you're already a Patreon supporter, good luck to you at the end of September that Bob might pick you to be the Patreon supporter to receive this printer. Thanks so much. Have a fun time printing, painting, and gaming. We'll see you next time.